Yo, what is up guys? It's Jack and welcome back to another video. And in this one, I wanted to talk about something that was kind of asked uh, to me on stream or and or on Twitter. I don't exactly remember. It could it could have even been something in the comment section, but uh, I was asked this question. And even though the definitive answer right now is that it's too, too soon to tell, if you're a Call of Duty fan and you've kind of been through the Call of Duty grind for like the last eight years or somewhere around the same time that I have, uh, it's kind of, it's become second nature to kind of predict where things are going, right? So I wanted to talk about how this game stacks up against Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 3. And the answer is actually very, very simple. Uh, can't really get into too many specifics because this game is going to be updated. The connection in time should at least feel better over time. Um, things are going to be a little bit more consistent. Uh, there's going to be adjustments made to the weapons, hopefully the specialists and a couple of other things. But as of right now, I could tell you right now that even though this game has potential and even though this game is fun to play and has a, a really good addictive factor to it, there are a few things that this game just has that uh, basically it's, it, it's tripping over its own foot at this point. Um, it's trying to take a step forward, but at the same time, it doesn't get too far because it keeps tripping over its own damn foot by design. And there's way too many what the fuck was Treyarch thinking uh, thoughts that go into my mind when I experience this game or even since the, re uh, the reveal of this game back in May uh, of the multiplayer. I keep on thinking what the fuck were they thinking when they did this, this, this and that. And, um, you know, the, the, the specialists are, were the beginning of the problem. And, and I don't mind specialists all that much as long as they're not too anything like as long as they're not too overpowered not too this not too that not too aggressive not too campy not too cheesy you know balanced and at this point right now uh specialists are in my humble opinion with a couple of exceptions specialists in my opinion at this point are stupid like and a couple of the other things that they've added into the game are just stupid and really not necessary and are catering to a very very passive playstyle that just encourages people just to sit there and not move and just plant their specialists that they're going to get at least once a game and twice a game if they're good and maybe three times if they're god level or whatnot but um and then you've got your equipment which you get even more uh frequently so and there's a lot of there's a lot of things that just cater to a very 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 passive playstyle to where you know i mean you're, you're blocking parts of the map off there's you're basically getting free score streaks that have been annoying the riot shield thing has been annoying since forever but at the same time right now they've buffed the hell out of it by making you can run with it and you can plant it down and and you can fire back at the enemy i mean if you see one of those things you just gotta run you just you just gotta go you gotta run and it's really it's annoying as hell it's annoying as hell and uh, even especially when it comes to objective game modes like oh okay you know we and the dog, you know, the dog is annoying. Some people are saying that the dog is underpowered. Some people are saying the dog is, is overpowered. I can tell you right now, uh, like literally last night, I was playing free for all. I got killed four times in a row by the same damn dog. And usually when I get it, sometimes it'll kill. It'll get me anywhere from two to four kills, but sometimes it's just not consistent. It just, it is what it is. And yes, I do send the dog out. Thanks to, to, to you guys that <laughs> told me to do that uh, in one of my streams that I didn't really know of, believe it or not. Uh, but the thing is, there are just what the f too many what the fuck was Treyarch thinking moments. Because when you think when you compare it to Black Ops One, the gun on gun gameplay from Black Ops One, and then Black Ops Two, and then Black Ops Three, um, and then you have this, it's like you know sometimes I even go as far as to think it's like how do these people call themselves uh, call themselves uh, AAA level game developers, especially when you compare them to co to consistency of other games that get released. That are multiplayer games as well. I mean, yes, uh, games do have their fair share of problems when when released out there into the wild and stuff. Sure, but at the same time, there's a whole bunch of just what the fuck moments and too many inconsistencies for a game as popular as this, for a game that generates as much revenue as money as as it makes, and and all that kind of good stuff. We uh, should be getting way better results than what we've been getting in terms of the game. And it just, uh, I don't know, w was it all because Treyarch was really going to go in a whole different direction as it was mentioned, that it was going to be like an Overwatch type of game or whatnot? Was that, is that part of the problem and they just had to back paddle and they didn't have enough time? I mean, I, uh, I don't know. At this point, my thoughts are, you, you guys can see where I'm kind of going with this. But these are the thoughts that kind of run through my head. It's like, 
it's like the base game itself in terms of the gun on gun you know when the connections are good and then you've got your your gunfights and stuff like that and, and and everything like that yes it's you know the game feels really good it's got a good addictive feeling to it but at the same time there are those things that keep it from being that amazing you know uh, keep it from being that that amazing game that it could potentially be now again there are improvements that are going to be made as the time goes on and, and and i'm not even counting supply drops when it comes to this to this subject but but at the same time why does it seem like the games were better when they had two years way back in the day um during black ops 1 and black ops 2 why do, why does it seem like games were more complete more finished more stable when they were released and we all know that the call of duty population isn't exactly what it used to be even even with the popularity now and you hear about how much money the game is making on launch day and all that kind of shit the Call of Duty population, in terms of the amount of people that play, isn't what it used to be. So, uh, in terms of the amount of people playing at once, it, it really isn't. Uh, so, and the thing is, things used to be a hell of a lot more stable back in the day. Again, every game at launch could have its fair share of problems, but it just seems like Call of Duty always has it the worst. Or is it the fact that we're still pretty damn popular enough to where you know our voices are just heard in terms of the negativity so much more so let me know what you guys think at this point right now uh it's it really it doesn't the games uh, this game right now as of right now as it stands it's either tied for third place or tied for four or it's going to be dead last as of right now but um but uh in comparison to how it is uh, with black ops 3 at least um in terms of uh, in terms of Black Ops 1 and 2, uh, I don't think those games are ever going to be touched. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, you know, way too much, way too much what the fuck Treyarch. So, um, or it could all be Activision's fault. You never know. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Your experiences, uh, feel free. Feel free to let me know down in the comment section. Feel free to educate me if there's anything that I'm not fully aware of. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. And if you didn't, let me know what I could do to make my videos better. I'll catch you guys on the next one.